everybody, I'm Paul Roseberry, and welcome to today's episode of Behind the Comic. Guys, today I'm going to tell you about one of the funniest bus stories you have probably ever heard. Definitely the funniest one of my life. Uh, it was ridiculous. I used to live in New York City, and uh, being from New England, I would often take very, very sketchy Chinese buses from Boston to New York and back. I mean, sketchy, like 15 bucks. The, the Feng Hua, you guys have probably heard of the Feng Hua, and they shut them down because they weren't even a good enough bus company to stay in business. People joked that there were live chickens in the uh, middle of the bus. I don't know. I'm not going to confirm or deny. Anyway, it was 4th of July weekend. I was in New York, had to get home for the 4th of July. I had to make this bus because I was able to get a last minute ticket, one of the last tickets available, and with such a busy weekend, all the other buses were full. So if I don't make this bus, I'm not getting home for, for the big holiday. I rush as fast as I can. Work held me up. I'm rushing, I'm rushing. Subway's running down the street, sweating. I'm feeling gross. I just, I'm barely going to make it, and I do it. I just get on the bus. Great. That part's good. But the problem is, this is at least a four-hour ride. Maybe six with traffic. It's gone half a day sometimes. I need snacks. I need some water. I never have a chance to grab anything. So I'm a little like, you know, this, this sucks. But I know... One hour into the ride, the bus will stop. Some random spot, an hour north, will stop. Uh, there's a, a great bus stop with like a, a service center and all this. I can get food and snacks, whatever. I'll be fine. So I curl up to my backpack. I fall asleep for about an hour. Boom, sure enough, I feel the bus stop. I hop off. I go in. I am so thirsty. I need water so badly. First thing I do is go to the little, uh, what, what, what's it, that like news stop they have in every bus place where you can get water and newspapers and all that. Uh, Hudson News. So I go to get a bottle of water. Of course, everyone on the bus is in line for water. It's taking forever. Fine. I drink almost the whole thing while I'm in line. That's how thirsty I was. Think, should I get another one? Maybe not. I don't know. Then I turn around and I notice. I'd never seen this bakery. They had a bakery in the bus station. German chocolate cake. I, you wouldn't think that a bus station would have German chocolate cake. I didn't think so. So I'm like, hey, treat yourself. Holiday weekend. Let's get some German chocolate cake for this goddamn bus ride. I go over. I'm in line. Next thing you know, uh, we find out that's not a line. I'm behind people who are waiting at the wrong register. That one's closed. They got to move us around. It's starting to take a little while in this bus station. Okay, and I'm mildly aware of that, but I see all the people from the bus, I'm fine. After I finally get the German chocolate cake, I spin around, and there's a pizza spot. Apparently, these places are usually closed when I'm there on my other rides, because I've never seen the, the bakery or the pizza place open. Pepperoni pizza smells so good. I had to. I had to have some. Why not? So I run over, and I grab two slices pepperoni pizza. Yeah, I'm a little piggish. I get two slices of pepperoni pizza, I got my German cake, and here's the thing, my water bottle's empty, okay? I was really thirsty. And now I know I'm starting to push it. The bus is only stopping for like 10 minutes. But again, if the place is full, I see these blue shirts that I recognize from the bus, I'm fine. I go back in the water line, get another bottle of water, and now I'm set for like the apocalypse, but definitely for at least a bus ride. I get two, two bottles of water, two pieces of pizza, and German chocolate cake. Looks like I went shopping. Huh? Did you have a sticky bun? No, I didn't have a sticky bun. <laughs> cake. So anyway, I'm carrying all of this food. I look ridiculous. And I'm walking out to the bus. I, I Also, I squeezed a pee in there. I believe I hit the bathroom real quick, too. Anyway, I'm walking out with this grocery cart in my arms. There's a bus pulling away. As I walk out, and I'm like, obviously it's not my bus. My bus wouldn't have left without me. I walk around the corner. Nah, bruh. No buses. That was my bus. Holy shit. My fucking bus is leaving. I can't believe it. I got my arms full. Okay, here's the thing, though. It's a huge parking lot. The bus has a ways to go in the parking lot before it ramps onto the highway. It's not going that fast. Maybe I'll, I'll run after it, and maybe they'll see me in the rear view, and this will be no big deal. I'll have burned off a little bit of this cake and pizza in advance. I start running. I don't even, you know, my arms are full, so I can't, like, you know, Carl Lewis this shit. I'm over here just uh, uh, running after the bus, and I see the brake lights of the bus. 
And I'm like, okay, good, good. Uh, you know, the solution is in sight. No, he was breaking for uh, an opening in traffic. Gone. I'm in Connecticut. My stuff is on the bus, and the bus is gone. I'm just standing in the middle of a parking lot looking like an asshole with nothing. I don't even know if I have my phone. I, I, what am I going to do? I don't know anyone in Connecticut. I don't even have time to work anymore. Brand new blue Nissan Maxima pulls up. Sunroof open. This golfer looking kid pulls up. He goes, saw the whole thing. Hop in. I swear to God, I swear to not even like that. Just in the moment, I'm watching the bus turn away, and I start to freak out. As I turn, he's right there. Holy shit, my guardian angel, of course I hop in. I don't ask any other questions. It's probably Ted Bundy. I don't know who the hell this guy is, but I hop in. I get no other choice. So I get in the car. I put my mass of, you know, my whole cookout on his floor. Okay, and I sit down, we shake hands, he goes, saw the whole thing, man, totally sucks. Hey, where are you headed? I said, uh, Boston, what about you? He goes, Hartford. All right, so I know he figures he's going to get me to Hartford. There are other buses in Hartford. I'm all set. This kid's great. It's a nice summertime day. Like I said, sunroof's open. He's got good music playing. Maybe some classic rock. I forget what it was. Then the dude, as we get on the highway, pops his little cup holder. He's got a freshly packed bowl of super green. Uh, not ripped, just waiting to go. He's like, hey, do you smoke? I'm like, once in a while, definitely today with you. Yes, I do. So he passes it to me. I get the first rip. We're having a great time. We're getting high as shit. Good music playing, new friends, zipping down the highway. All is well. All is well. Here's where he didn't know something that was on my agenda, and it got real cool. We're cruising about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, maybe 15. Suddenly, I say, hey, there's my boss. And he's like, all stone and shit driving. He's like, okay. And then it hits him what my intention is, and he's like, oh. And I was like, let's do this. And we just knew. We just knew what to do from there. Dude, this kid guns it, punches it down the highway, we rip up past the bus, way past it. We get two or three uh, car, car distances ahead of it, so we're nice and clear, there's nothing dangerous, but we're now ahead of the bus, and I'm going to flag this shit down and get back on my bus. That's what we're doing. So, he gets up ahead of it, he's keeping steady in the lane, I put down the window, I put my whole body to the waist. Out the window of the car, all right? I'm facing back to the bus. I'm out to my hips. And I just start flagging the bus like that. The bus driver sees this shit, having no idea what's going on, assumes that I'm a psychopath, a random lunatic in traffic. And I see he immediately puts on his left signal to get into a faster lane to go around the crazy people in this Maxima in front of him. Reasonable Reasonable thing for a bus driver to do. Until at the last second, he and I make eye contact. And he goes, <gasps> and he realizes, I'm the guy, he left me. He fucked me at the goddamn bus station. He's, it immediately clicked. His signal goes from left to right, just like that. And we're in, baby, we're in. He immediately, you can just see, he's got nothing on his mind but pull over and get the guy who he left at the bus stop. Oh my god, I jump back inside the car. I'm like, dude, it's working, it's ready. He's like, I know, I know, it's unbelievable. So then the kid driving pulls down this exit, okay? That's how he thinks this works. You go down the exit and then the boss and we get off the highway. And then as he goes down the exit, I go, no, 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 dude, sorry. That bus can't get off the highway. It's going to mess up his whole schedule. He's going to stop on the shoulder. And sure as shit, he's starting to do it. I said, but uh, you know what? If you can just pull over on the shoulder here, I'll just hop out and run up to the bus. So, you know, 50 yards. He's like, yeah, yeah. I grab all of my shit. I said, pizza, cake, water. And I shake his hand. I gave him my business card. I said, dude, here's my card. Hit me up. I owe you beers, dinner, whatever you want. I said, I do a little bit of stand-up comedy, dude. I've never written anything as ridiculously insane as this that is going on right now. 
please hit me up. We're friends now. He's like, sure. I get all my stuff. And now I know I am ready for the most embarrassing walk of shame to a bus you've ever seen. Because the bus is like up this little hill. It's very dramatic. The bus is perpendicular to us. Meaning everyone on the bus is definitely going to be wondering why the bus stopped. And then all the people on that side can look out the window and see some jerk who's got his arms so full of food that I couldn't appreciate the whole rest of the bus had a schedule to keep. And I had to stuff my piggy face with pizza and cake. And I'm still carrying it. And then I have to trot my way up to this bus like the, just the biggest jerk. I'm so embarrassed. Not so embarrassed I'm not going to do it, but I'm pretty embarrassed. And I just don't even know how, I, whatever, I, I, but I don't know how I'm going to face these guys. As I get up to the bus, the door opens, really out of a movie. The bus driver was this big, round, sweaty bastard. He looked like Chris Farley. I know there was some movie Chris Farley drove but it but he was it Billy Madison. He looked like that. He just was this, and he was so sorry. That's what he said. He goes, I am so sorry. And I just couldn't, I, I appreciate his being sorry. I was sorry. I felt horrible. And as I go to step on the bus, nervous, everyone's going to fucking hate me for messing up their day. Nope. Standing ovation. I got a standing ovation from the whole bus. Everybody. They got nothing else to do. The bus ain't moving. Everyone's wondering why. They know why. They watched me. The whole, even the other side was creeping in the window that could see me. And they're all standing up. Standing ovation. And I'm like, okay. Okay, we'll go with this. And I get about three seats into the bus and I just go, Andy got me high. Because I just ripped it with the dude. And they're like, what? And the place just erupted. I swear to God. It was just the craziest thing. I was a hero for a minute on this bus. Nobody was pissed about my whole, you know, food and all this. And I go back to my seat. And when the finally, when the uh, standing O settles down, People kept coming up to me, I swear. And people kept coming up to me, coming back to my seat. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So you didn't know that guy? Wait, you, what, yeah, you think I just called some dude, a friend who happened to be at a bus stop? And, 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 no, of course I didn't know the guy. It was just a free thing, so everyone wants to know the story. The only people it was a little bit weird for, across the aisle there had been, it was like this funky setup where the bus had two seats that faced each other, like for a group of four, you know, almost like a card table setup. They had seen me on the ride to the first hour to the bus stop. They knew there was a guy missing from my seat. My bag was still there. And I kind of gave them this look and they were like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. We left you at the bus station and none of us said a word. We kind of feel like shit. I just waved them on. It was all good. I told the story. And uh, yeah, I actually had to pretend I was asleep after a while so people wouldn't keep coming up asking me because it was, it was the most ridiculous thing. So I got to ride the rest of the ride home. I got to go on for Fourth of July. The rest of the bus ride, I was high as shit. The kid had good weed. I had munchies ready to go. All's well that ends well. It was a great ride. And probably the funniest bus ride I hope to ever be on. So anyway, guys, that's today's episode of Behind the Comic. I'm Paul Roseberry. Hope you enjoy. Good? Yes. I like it. Yeah.